So how much is it going to cost me? 100 cryo? Sabine is selling off the case of stabilizer vial. Uh, you haven't been able to talk with them since your last visit. So we're at 100. Stable. Let's go to the low end gate. Hmm. It seems like it seems risky to do right now, but you know, we're 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 trying stuff out. We got 60. You hand over the chits to the Yadigan enforcer and he nods you through. Uh okay. Ah. Ramshackle residential district. We can block maintenance, which is repeatable engineering skill. Maintained by their residents, the ramshackle blocks are always in need of repairs. Helping out is as good is a good way to make friends. Which increases low ender. No one knows you here. You'll need to change that if you want access to the low end's residents and facilities. Play Tavla as a repeatable action into it though. The clack of filter caps can be heard in every concourse in the low end. As residents play rotating rounds of this game for cryo. Ah, so we can make some money. So they're both risky. I think I'm going to need some cash. Oh, we have access to like this whole other part of the ring. The free spoke towering transit hub. Enter the spoke is into it. Everything's into it. <laughs> we chose the wrong thing. A tangled network of service passages and makeshift tunnels cut through the spoke as if it were a hive. There are no maps here. Increases both of these increase spoke climber. The spoke is layer after layer after layer after layer after layer after layer after layer. After layer. No, 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 no. Of dense urban fabric. The only way to explore it is vertically. Scale the spoke is engage. Blistered with precarious elevators and stairways, the spoke can be navigated from the outside, but the climb requires bravery. I don't know. I wonder if that's to get access to more areas? Oh, there's one other thing. Founder's Gap. A gap in the ring station. Pay for passage. 150 cryo. To reach the greenway, you need to pay for a pass. A practice invented by the spacers moored here. They call it Founder's Ferry. Let's try doing this. You know what? Let's not actually. Let's. We gotta. We gotta mitigate. We need money. We gotta mitigate that risk. Endurance. Uh, only gain favor, though. Let's do, uh, hall materials. Neutral. Oh, we lost- Oh, no, we lost energy. That's not good. Maybe I should suntan. Sunbathe. Get energy back. Oh, that's good. Positive outcome. Plus three energy. Okay, let's end the cycle here. Unless there's something else. Oh, okay. So that's completed. Get to know Emphis. Study the winter light. Survive. Buy a vial of stabilizer to survive. Okay. That's probably going to be easier for us to do. So let's do that. Try to do that next cycle. Or I guess... Oh, look at those. Look at those rolls. I guess it's... um. Yeah, we don't really want to buy it now, right? 
maybe wait one more cycle. Fang. Ah. Sleeper! Fang catches your attention as you approach the Haven Age building, leaning against the bay door to the side of the entrance. You approach. Easier to come in this way. Security. All that. He gives you a look. You know! He slams the button and the bay creaks open, blinking lights in the dark behind it. You follow Feng inside. Truth be told, I don't spend much time upstairs. This is where I work. The door hisses as it closes behind you. The bay is filled with pieces of hardware, all rigged up to generators and diagnostic slates, and things you don't recognize that glow with blue screen light. There's a chorus of hums that blends into a single wave of static, filling the dark corners of the room. Feng leans on a server stack and gestures around. You like it? Uh, what is all this? He taps a nearby server stack, which bleeps in response. This is my treasure trove, all dredged up from this sea of systems we call the eye. You wouldn't believe what this place runs on. He steps over to a towering block, speckled, speckled with vents. Some of these systems are from the original station. AE1. The one Solheim built. We've had to invent new components, repair things we never built, reverse engineer entire subsystems into existence. Residents here look up at the eye and think they're seeing a constant, a concrete reality. But this place is a system in constant flux, decaying and growing, collapsing into new configurations. He walks down between the hardware stacks and you follow. We're keeping this place alive, but also remaking it into something new, dragging it away from those corporate origins. He stops. At least, that's what I'm trying to do. He turns back to face you among the flickering machines. They hum all around you. I know you can see this too, sleeper. All these systems and sections. You can, can't you? Uh, yeah, I can see it. It makes sense, right? You're between here and there, between the people and their systems. You light this place up like a beacon. That's what I need. You glance at the lights around you, and as you do, they seem to flicker. I feel like we have seen, since we've kind of seen the systems, the nodes and the, 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 the strings between them, we do kind of see what he's getting at, right? Feng notices it too. Uh, you glance at the lights around you, and as you do, they seem to flicker to realign to follow your gaze. Feng notices it too. I'm guessing being a beacon isn't always ideal when you're on the run, though. They are tracking me. He pats you on the shoulder. Maybe I can help with that. There's a lot of old growth in this place. Subsystems I can't see, access protocols lost to time and decay. Secrets. A shitload of secrets. With your help, I can unlock this place. Break off those last ghost limbs of corporate control. He lowers his voice below the hub. Even in Haven Age, where uh, there is old growth. Those whose roots trace back into those old, bad old days. You help me dredge up the past, and I'll see what I can do about that tracker of yours. Winks. What do you say, sleeper? I'm in. Feng uh, pumps his fist and claps you on the shoulder. He meets your eye. You won't regret it, sleeper. Feng passes you a ragged looking metal tab. A gift, he smiles. It's a Solheim cipher. I dug it up from the depths of the station. Slot that into an old network gate, and you'll be able to pull out all kinds of secrets from the nodes inside. He walks you back to the front of the bay. Start by bringing me whatever you can turn up. Use that emulated mind of yours and see what's there. Let's get a picture of how things are. Those above, he nods at the ceiling, have granted me an acquisitions budget. I could pay you for whatever useful data you bring in. I know you need it. He slams the door button again. Keep it quiet and keep it clean, sleeper. And I'll see you soon. You step, blinking back out into the passage, the flickering light still in the back of your mind. New drive discovered. Disable your tracker. Help Fang ch uh, chase his leads. Feng has said he will disable your S and ARP tracker if he can get to the bottom of this mystery first. Also extract the past. 
Bang wants to dig into old Solheim networks in reach of secrets that could change the future of the station. Well, the first thing we can do... Get rid of this. We can deliver... We've got some data to deliver, right? Bang will pay you well for any Solheim data you dredge up from the eyes old systems. What he does with it is anyone's guess. Which goes towards scoping the systems. Bang wants to get a look at what data is hiding deep in the subsystems of the eye. Wait. Oh, that's have an age data. Shoot. Well. We have the cipher, right? We didn't roll very well for uh, for these. Let's pop the cipher in. Oh, <laughs> trying to use the the Solheim cipher on the Sabin H <laughs> cipher slot, <laughs> and vice versa. Solheim gate. Gate has seven access, and we lost the cipher. The squawk of noise, the old gate flips open, granting access. We need a one. A two. Oh, a four. There we go. This network storage holds corporate records, most of them corrupted by a failed system purge. Set of data unearthed from the eyes old corporate so I guess we can't like look at the data or anything. It's just a resource. Oh. As you drift back from the node, something latches onto you. A thread strung tight around you. It tethers you in place. A taste. The voice makes you shiver. It's source somehow both distant and close behind your ear. You see a distant glint of light shut off, and then suddenly a shape is at your side. It stalks around you, circling like a shark, like a wolf. Entity unknown, astringent, processing. Let's resist. Oh, the hunter. Sentient protocol unraveling. You struggle against the thread and it tightens in response. A glittering garret. Please hold. The thread around you thickens until it is a ring. A cylinder, a tunnel of light circled around you. It is blinding for a moment, and then it is gone. As it fades, you see a figure, a creature in front of you. Its strange head flickers between different angles, reading you. What did you do? The shape paces around you on life legs. Though there is no ground here to pace on. Entity, identify. Origin, serial, cadence. The figure faces you expectantly. Sleeper, S and ARP. Unknown, known. The figure's strange head rotates. Brackish signature. Off and not of. Attempting interface. As the figure speaks, more threads begin to spiral from its head. Thick, snaking, vine-like ribbons that flex and wave. They approach with intent. Stop! The figure halts its threads, its head twitching. Entity. Your identity is unknown. We only seek to correct illegalities. Can you confirm your legal right to sentience? I am a person. Incorrect. You are an entity. All at once, Hunter's head is directly in front of yours, blocking your vision. You stink of their taste. The one from the sealed dock. Hunter shimmers with fury. I will find access. I will interface. Sealed dock? An entity hides in the rotunda. You are its puppet. Hunter extends a razor edge thread. I will not be diverted from my task. It glows with murderous intent. Strike it! Uh-oh. You lash out with all your force. Not a physical strike, but a focusing. A spike of interference leaping out like the tip of a spear. 
Hunter stumbles, shifts, separates. Wake up! You open your eyes, blinking back into the station light, shaking with fear. Okay. We gotta watch out for that thing. A two. Did I check that one already? And a three. Should we take a risk? Do it. It says the note is orbited by the remains of corporate countermeasures broken long ago by hackers. Okay. We've got encrypted key, a stream of passcodes able to unlock the station's aging mag locks. Okay. Let's go to Feng's Bay. Give him the data. Plus 15 cryo, plus scoping the systems. Okay. Cool. And how much was this? 100. All right, we gotta, we gotta get some work done. Was this, um, is this where we could use that? All oh, right, we need a cryo for that. I thought there was something we could use the encrypted key on. We do have a uh, sixer to explore the market with, maybe. Let's let's get some more cash. Huh? How much security do you have? Have to have plans. Stealing them would be the fastest way to get to know this place. This would be a good time to do something like this. Let's do it. Positive outcome. Nice. Perk. Thrill seeker. Oh, we got energy. Ha. Stranded, a stranded mercenary. Uh, Overlook bar, grimy spacer haunt in a sealed dock. So we found this because we did that. Let's check out this mercenary. Hey, you want to earn a shit? Ankita stands beside a huge pile of tied together hull plates. She stretches out her back, her shoulders bulging beneath her flight suit. Make it two. Ha! <laughs> this goddamn station! She sighs and pinches the bridge of her nose. All right, come here then. Across the docking concourse as she begins to split the plating into two bundles. What is it with this place? She asks. As she angrily lashes the massive plates together, everyone wants their cut. She straightens up to an imposing height, her armor plates creaking, and looks you up and down. Or is it just that you all think I'm an easy mark? We all need to survive. Ankita softens. I get it. I do. She shakes her head. But if I could go just one cycle without some jumped up grifter trying to take me for an idiot, then that would be nice. Ankita hoists one bundle of plating onto her shoulder. Come on then, enough chat. You've got to earn those shits. You struggle to shoulder the plates, but you do eventually. Ankita gives you a look. Ships this way. And she sets off down a gantry at impressive speed. As you catch up to her, she turns down a passage, pushing through a small crowd of stevedores. Is that how you pronounce that? Stevedores? I think it is. Steve Dores. <laughs> I think it's stevedores. Um, what's all this for? Oh, this? She nods at the plates on her back. I'm building a treehouse. She gives you another of her looks. 
It's for the ambergris, that cutter you might have seen sitting silent out there. She rapidly turns another corner as you trail behind. She got cut up pretty bad on our last job, and I had to moor up here for a spell. But since then, it's only gotten worse. Someone got in and sliced the core from our ship mine. So now she's gone dark. She shifts the panels on her shoulder. The upshot is that I'm short one ship mine, with a ton of repairs to do. And the rest of the crew signed off the moment they got wind. I've been stranded. So yeah, it's been a time. Anything I can do to help? I don't know. Got a ship mine tucked away on that frame of yours? For a moment, you aren't sure if she's serious. Stranded mercenary, okay. Mercenary, sorry. Akita swings the plates from her back, almost knocking you over in the process. This is me. She hauls the second bundle off your shoulder. You're the first person I've met here who might actually be considered helpful. She pauses, chewing her bottom lip. Look, you want to help? Come see me. I need a hand putting Amber back together, and you don't seem like the type to try anything stupid. She passes the bundles of plates to the Amber Grace's outer lock and then turns back. Just don't go spreading all this around. Ankita throws you a couple of chits. We got two. She gives you a parting nod and ducks you to the doorway. All right, get out of here. She calls back and then lock. Uh, and the lock slams shut. Another drive. Cool. I like her. Fix the ambergris. Ankita's cutter is out of commission. Help her get it running again. Yeah. Uh, well, it depends. Is that is that kind of locked action? Skill upgrade required. Rewire drones. Wait, 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 wait. Do I? Oh, there's upgrades available. No, 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 no. no. I thought I thought at a point. My bad. But why does it say? It does say upgrades are available. I guess that means that. There's just things I could upgrade? <laughs> Kinda weird. Amber hull repairs. Akira needs help. Needs all the help she can get with the ambergris. Hawkmarked with damage, the hull is a good place to start. So if we get it to ship shape, we get it to ship shape with positive outcomes. Ambergris doesn't look good, but time and attention should see it return to a functional state. Or if we fail, it gets grounded. Ambergris is in a delicate condition. It'd be all too easy to push it over into a cascade and collapse. Let's do it. Nice. I didn't get any money though. Need money. Yeah. I don't know if we want to do that for money. Risky. Why don't we check out these other spots? The bar. Maybe there's something that's more tuned to our, our talents. Currently. <laughs> our current talents. We can get a drink, which is a repeatable action. You're unsure if your frame can metabolize alcohol, but this fungal drink fermented along the greenway seems like a good test. Six cryo. And then we can get closer to being an Overlook regular. The Overlook isn't exactly a restaurant, meaning the only way you'll gain trust around here is with a stiff drink. Or we could buy rations for 10 cryo. Tala keeps some expired Solheim rations behind the bar for those weary spacers who asked who asks why the Overlook doesn't serve food? Rations, okay. And then Seal Dock is the other spot. Unlock Maglock. Ah! These old Maglocks look like they each need an encrypted key to open. Why the heavy security for decaying dock? We've got two locks. Two Maglocks seal the entryway to this dock. It doesn't look like anyone has been inside in years. I like these mechanics. Simple, but they're, they're interesting. And they create randomness with your rolls, you know, so you don't always have the same result. Part of the way there. Oh, I Oh, cool. This arrived. 
Offloading. So we got repeatable action, buy some scrap. Most of what comes in from the Star Wall or Starward Belt is corroded trash. But sometimes something valuable can be found among the salvage. Spend 20 cryo. Uh, the big stuff goes to the shipyard. The valuable stuff goes to the markets. It lets you buy a few crates, but not much more. Why would it? I guess this. I don't know what would make this go down. Is this? Does this feed into that? Unload containers. This is something we're good at. The freighter crew are eager to get their payload into the Ort Exchange. They'll pay a wage to anyone willing to help. And this gets offloaded once per. There's three of them. This this changes once per cycle. We'll stay docked for as many cycles as it takes to offload. It's okay. So they're gonna stay for three cycles. Let's take it. Let's take a chance. Unload some containers. Uh oh. Negative. Oh no. We did get some money, but we lost one condition. That's that's not the end of the world. Okay. So we're done for the day. I've really enjoyed this. This is super fun. Let's end the cycle.